Loki, all of them don't be noticed. I'm not joking, all my guys, them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. I know be OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, but they know me, me know me. Just know this and no peace. I get lonely, but I'm never lonely. Sexy ladies, come and feel me slowly. Saturday morning. Today I have a lot of self-care to do because what else to do when you're feeling like crap, huh? I have my vitamins. I just took some a little medicine thing that I take for my immune system. By the way, nothing is wrong with me because I feel like as Jamaicans, I feel like we only take things for our body if something is already wrong with our body. I don't have that mentality. I always take my vitamins. This morning I'm taking D3, Zing, Vitamin C, Woman Multivitamin. I try to take all of them in one swallow. Let's see. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna steam my face, do some exfoliating, add some apple cider vinegar because for my spots, if you guys realize my spots, are like hard to see now and that's because i use apple cider vinegar on my face i used to buy all these products as you guys know and it's just haven't been working for me and since i've stopped i've actually seen a difference in my skin and i'm so happy i wanted to take my tracks out today too but i might leave that for tomorrow because i don't have i want to dye my hair black and i don't have that and I I'm going to braid my hair after I take this out. And I want to do it like the day of. Because I don't know. I don't like to be messy. I want to stay, you know, up to. Oh, I'm going to make my protein shake too. Because I'm working out five days this week. Unless my lady arrives. She comes, then I'm going to do it like. I'm going to miss probably three days or um two days i just feel like this on and off working out thing i should really cut it out i'm so sick and tired of myself like working out for three days not working out for three days working out this week not working out next week it's like a well overdue habit that i should have already mastered i'm not doing that anymore it's this cut on my arm you guys i got it the other day when i was in mayfan pissed me off i'm gonna put a picture up on the screen if I can find it and show you when it I just got it fresh and when I tell you it spoiled my day I did not even react to it because I'm that kind of person like if I'm really upset then I'll j I just need a moment to react because I will just be like ah and I've learned not to do that anymore 
I am home chilling. Took a shower and oh, I stained my face first, like I told you guys I was going to, and I burst some pimples that I shouldn't have done, but <laughs> but I already did it so whatever. So I burst some pimples that I should have burst. I, I'm so I'm mostly annoyed with myself about it because I know I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm so heavy on moisturizing my skin. Like I use lotion butter and oil like three different types this i use this on my foot the back of my foot and underneath my foot but <laughs> is this too many details guys <laughs> yeah i use this it's for right and crack feet my cousin had it so she just gave it to me i don't know it's 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 pretty good though it gives you those soft feeling on your feet and then I use body conscious butter from Lulu Holistics and then I use my lotion and I use sunscreen and a bunch of stuff <laughs> and I use some lip therapy I think I showed you guys that in another long time vlog I just posted a video this morning I feel like I had it uploaded from last night but I posted up this morning I don't know I really need to get back into vlogging a lot I'm just so focused on myself right now and like doing some personal growth and you know even business wise but I really need to like do YouTube because I love YouTube so much but when I'm busy how do I say it it's just it gets the shitty end of the stick <laughs> why do I like sticking out my tongue this from pimple and this pimple but it's fine it's now about 12 i feel like and i've had breakfast but i haven't eaten anything for lunch not that hungry and after i made my smoothie i'm gonna let it sit for a few but i'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that i use so let's go to the kitchen y'all already know my protein powder i use two scoops of it this cup you guys like yesterday i put some frozen um smoothie in it like i froze some smoothie in it and it would not melt I had to put it in the sun and it still wouldn't melt i don't know what it's called it's on amazon for like five dollars or something i think but like it's so good i just i really could not believe it it says coffee on the bottom but when i tell you it kept my juice my smoothie frozen for hours and would not melt so i guess it keeps things hot too but my daughter got it from school as a gift and i was like can i have it and she was like okay fine you can have it <laughs> so she gave it to me and i absolutely love it definitely still going to get my stanley's cup but this cup to me to use in the meantime so good and so useful and it's kind of cute i'm making some caramel porridge for breakfast Okay, so I'm about to wash my face now, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys 
the vitamins that I'm taking today. This is Immunizer. It says I'm supposed to take 5 ml or half tablespoon, but I just like wing it because I have an idea of what that measurement is. Good for your immune system, um, your stem cells, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of crap. Today, I'm going to take a fish oil. Huge. I'm going to take a um, Panadol Ultra because my lady friend is here and I need to keep updated on pain meds because she's a killer, you know? because I said I was gonna pull up my hair until I was ready to get it done and I did pull it out and now I am just not feeling it I hate looking like a mess so. um I want to tell you guys about last night while I clean up my color loo and something amazing that happened this morning last night <laughs> I was in my room and I was basically listening to, you know, some preaching ceremony. I was listening to TD Jakes and he was basically talking about, you know, a breakthrough and how the mind can be loud sometimes and you can't hear God's voice because your mind is telling you all sorts of negativity and even just the confusion like you don't know what to do because there's so much noise in your head that you don't know which is the voice from god he was like rebuking that and you know binding that binding that up in the name of jesus and you know i was there and i just started to feel the ceremony and it just spoke to me sorry if it's too breezy and i hope you guys are hearing me by the way let me check audio sounds fine but like i was saying i just started to feel the spirit i was like thank you jesus and i just started i got up out my bed and i went on my knees and you guys those are the things that need to be on camera and i'm just thanking god i'm just like thank you jesus thank you lord we worship you lord king of king i was like saying you know God has never forsaken me, never let me go, never gave up on me, and I won't give up on him. And you know, I was just worshiping, hardcore worshiping God. Oh my God, I got teary-eyed. Teary I was just like in the presence of God, I'm telling you guys. You guys, make sure you tap in, make sure you're connected to God, you keep God in your life, please remain in the presence of God at all times, especially in these times and these days, you just, you need God right by your side at all times, invite him in. Yeah, so that happened and I went to bed and when I woke up this morning, I was just like, you know, making breakfast and so on, as you guys saw earlier. And I just got the most amazing, like, surprise. And I was like, what? Like, it just came to my mind afterwards, like, oh my God, I was in the presence of God last night. And he just opened an opportunity for me this morning, like, out of nowhere, he, like, did that. And I'm just like, God is so good. And you don't even know what he's gonna come with he just comes with the most random stuff that you need but like you didn't even know you need <laughs> so yeah that happened now excuse me move he's like
you just praise him and worship him for no reason with no like i wasn't even thanking him or begging anything from him i was just there just in the presence of god feeling grateful for all he has done for me and really recognizing that i have a god that never fails and this morning he just gave me one of the biggest opportunities ever yesterday i was telling my friends you know write down five things that you're grateful for before you go to bed and i wrote down five things and i wrote down the five reasons why i'm grateful for those things my battery is dying but you know open your heart open your heart to god it doesn't matter what's happening around you open your heart to god and really be grateful for what you already have because you just never know now i have a bird in the background like these animals just wants to be the star of my show this is the ezrika show move We're gonna finish up here. We're gonna have callaloo and liver for dinner. High in iron. So my dinner is high in iron tonight, which is good because, like I told you guys, my period is here, and so I'm just, you know, it's good for me to eat iron while my period is here because, you know good for the blood <laughs> guys please remember to subscribe and like the video leave a like for me come on leave a comment for me and thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much thanks for your support